Alrighty y'all, what is up? Welcome back to the Bass All Your channel again today. Tune in for another video. Appreciate y'all coming on in. So as you saw by the title, we're going to dip right into it. We are comparing a $15 tackle bag to a free tackle bag today. And what we're doing is we're comparing this bad boy, the Bass Mafia money bag. And I got this. This has the Guggen Squad logo on it because, you know, I run a, uh, a fishing YouTube page and Every other fishing YouTube page out there puts their logo in their video, so I figured I'd get in on the trend. This thing comes in multiple different sizes. This, I believe, is the one gallon bag. I actually don't even know because you can't find these things in stock anywhere. And the reason I had to get it with this logo on it, they sell the Guggen one and a normal red and black Bass Mafia one. But the reason I bought this one was because the only freaking one I could find that was in stock, man. Found it on Amazon, $14.99. Prime shipping, so I got it sent to my door for free. And uh, so, yeah, so we're gonna compare this $15 piece of plastic to my beloved free tackle bag. These are pretty awesome. You can get them pretty much anywhere, any convenience store, any retail store, really, honestly, anywhere. And uh, the best part about it is they're never out of stock. You can always get them, they're readily available. I don't know, with this whole coronavirus thing, you might want to hop on them because they might go away like the old toilet paper. This is pretty versatile, you can hold multiple things on it. This is very versatile, you can hold a ton of things in it. And uh, so that's what we're gonna do. So to start off, this is a gallon bag. I don't know the exact size, we're gonna measure. We're going to use this measuring tape that I use to measure my absolute massive biceps with. And we're going to go from the top of the bag to the bottom on the side. And about 13 inches there. Now the width, the length. So this is the 16 by 13 inch money bag. Features a zipper on the top. $15, $15 for this bag. I can't express that enough. Now I did mention earlier before we get into the review of it that these things are impossible to find. All you Bass Mafia guys are always like, this and that, time out. I'm not bashing Bass Mafia by any means. It's just, guys tell you, man, you, you, there's new ways to, to hold your chatter baits. There's new ways to organize your spinner baits and buzz baits. For a $38 blade box, I don't have $38 worth of spinner baits and buzz baits. It's just, everybody's like, Bass Mafia, Bass Mafia. Dude, I've been using the same tackle boxes for, for 12 years. I still have some baits in there from then, and they've treated me fine. So, I know that the fish industry is going crazy with prices, and they, they, a couple different stuff are coming out, but, uh, you know, $15 for this bag. 15 buckaroonies for uh, a plastic bag with a zipper on it. Um, so, like I said, it's got a zipper on the top, and then, like any other Ziploc bag, it has the Ziploc feature to open up the bag, and then you can zip it tight back down, zip it on up, and now you've got your $15 bag closed up. So I guess it's supposed to be weatherproof, waterproof, all that, um, but this thing's got mold and black mold written all over it. If you allow water to get into a, a material like this that cannot breathe, you're gonna have problems. Um, so we're gonna stuff a few bags of baits in here and kind of see how much we can hold. Like we're going shopping. Throw some goat baits in here, our boy Randy in Ocoee, Florida. We'll make the Bitters Gang proud down there in Longwood. Definitely want these 10 inch worms. Our boys over at Carl's Bait and Tackle, let's throw some bio crawls in there. An exo stick. Let's give some love to the gambler crew too, because everyone knows I've caught some big fish on these big easies. And then uh, sweet low worm, they're sweet. All right, so we're pretty stocked full of baits here. Got the old money bag blasted down. We're gonna zip that tight. And cool. Nothing falls out. Uh oh, oh god. Our Ziploc feature blew out. Thank god we had the zipper on top of $15 was well invested. Let's do this again. Make sure nothing gets in between the Ziploc feature. See, this isn't very efficient, but 
zip. All right, we're pretty tight there, cool. Our $15 Guggen Squad money bag, because we're a fishing YouTube page. We want to see, we, get, we need to put our Guggen logo on everything, like every other fishing YouTube page out there. This is nice, you're able to put some plastics in here, maybe organize it for swim baits, straight tail worms, jerk baits, whatever you would like. So, let's take these out and let's put them right into our free bag. Let's go shopping from one bag to the other. Put vial crawls. I'm going to count these out so we know how much to of all the baits. So there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. All right, so it's an even number. Our money bag is now empty and our free bag is now full. And guess what you can do with this thing? Yeah, if we were to tip this upside down, it would not go well for us. Yeah. We now have a spill. We do not have a Ziploc feature on here. Let's clean all this up. But what we do have on this bag is the ability to take it and tie around bunny ears. And we now have this nice convenient bait sack. That for one, will not let our baits out. Two, it was free and I can get it conveniently anywhere I go. And when the toilet paper gets back in stock at my local retail store and I buy it, because coronavirus is gonna go away, I'll be able to get more of these bags. And then what's cool is I don't have to pay 15 bucks for these. Free, 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 nothing in this world is free. I just stuff a couple of these, I can throw them over my back, I can throw them on the side, heck, I can throw them in the boat and leave them there. And they do just fine. Now I reckon you will get a couple rips and tears a lot easier than you will this old guy. So, again, this is a product made by Bass Mafia. The money bag. Um, it's kind of a poof thing. Um, I'm not bashing Bass Mafia. I'm not bashing you. If you enjoy this product, I'm not bashing you if you told me to go and buy this product. I'm bashing the idea that some people think it's fine to pay $15 for this thing. Now, when they first came out, I thought they were pretty cool. I was like, you know, that'd be nice. I can take like gloves, buffs, put them in this thing and just stuff them in my boat. And then I remember I'm like, no, because I can get a six gallon plastic Tupperware, throw it in my rod locker for six bucks and I can fit triple what this thing does. So, like, it's just plastic. Like it's nothing, it's just a piece of freaking plastic with a zipper on top. Um, so 15 bucks. I think it's a spoof, uh, you know, not for me. I went and bought one so I can make the video. And uh, again, this was the only one I could find in stock. No stores locally had them. They're all run out. The price varies. Amazon, I'm sure, is probably the cheapest. I don't know how much a 13 by 16 goes on like Tack Warehouse, but even they were out when I was looking. Um, the only place I've ever seen them in stock was at Bitters Bait and Tackle, which is this orange bag right here. And they're down in Longwood, Florida. And they were $12 for the smaller size bag. Again, this is the 13 by 16, um, so I don't know. If it works for you, cool. If you've got good ways to organize this, cool. Um, I just don't think they're too practical uh, to zip, unzip twice, and then have to do it again. Um, I can I can probably see it being convenient if you just operate the zipper the whole time. Um, I just see it breaking. Um, there's one line of stitching. So you can see the just one line of stitching connecting the zipper to the bag. Again, not calling you boys out of Bass Mafia, not calling anything out. It's just, you know, $15 price point, I think is just high. This thing was five bucks, even $7.99. I think I might buy one just to see how it is, but 15, I think is high. That's more than what I pay for these boxes. I pay $5.99 for 3,600 boxes. Um, so again, just wanted to compare them. You got free and you got the money bag. So, I don't know. Leave anything in the description below. Leave some comments, leave me some feedback. I'm actually gonna fill this thing up and since I'm not gonna use it, well, I'm gonna give it away to one of y'all. Be sure to go over, check out the Bass Your Fishing page on Instagram, give that joker a follow. Share this video, man. Share it to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Share it all around. One lucky winner is gonna be picked by random. Rules are simple. Be subscribed, like this video, and share it in one way or another, whether that be 
tagging me on Instagram or Facebook, or whatever. Just let me know that you shared it. And uh, I'm going to stock this thing up with some baits and send it on out because I'm just not going to use it. So, until next video, hope you guys stay tuned, hit that subscribe, check again, check out the Bass Your Fishing page there on Instagram, we do a lot of behind the scenes stuff, uh, talking about videos, fishing, everything of that nature, and again, let me know how uh, your free bags work out for you, so until next video, we'll catch you guys right back here on the Bass Your channel, get out there, stay safe, catch your PB, see you next video.